welcome po sa ating Thursday service. Hallelujah! Kahit po maulang sa labas, ah, praise God, we continue to enjoy uh, staying in the presence of the Lord. Amen! Isa pong palakpak para sa Panginoon. Hallelujah! Praise you, Lord! Hallelujah! So, uh, bago po tayo magpatuloy, let us bow our head in prayer. Panginoong Diyos na mapagmahal at uh, makapangyarihan sa lahat, Patuloy ka namin dinadagila at pinupuri sa oras na ito, Panginoon. Kami po ay nandito para kami ay makinig ulit sa inyong salita. Basbasan mo po ang aming puso at ang aming isipan, Panginoon. Bigyan mo ng uh, bawat isa ng kaunawaan, Panginoon, upang maintindihan namin itong mensahe mo at maging kabahagi ng buhay namin sa araw-araw, Panginoon, upang kami maging matatag, Panginoon, at mapanatili sa inyong presensya, Panginoon. At uh, Diyan, madatan mo ang bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon, sa inyong pagbabalik na kami po ay patuloy na uh, kalubod-lubod sa inyong harapan. Holy Spirit, continue to be our teacher this afternoon. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah! Good afternoon po muli sa lahat ng mga kapatiran dito sa Hong Kong, our Thursday uh, group. And then at the same time to everyone who is uh, joining us, In this service this afternoon, a blessed afternoon to everyone. Hallelujah! Okay, so uh, ang ating pong mensahe sa akong ito ay tungkol po sa the blessing of choosing God's way. Uh, ang pagpapala ng uh, choosing God's way, there is a blessing when, kung pipiliin natin, meron palang kalakip na blessing. Kung, tayo, kung pipiliin natin ang pamamaraan ng Panginoon. So, wala po tayong ibang, uh, ibang uh, source of uh, itong uh, textbook natin kundi ang the Word of God. Where can we find the, itong mga ways ng Panginoon sa kanyang salita mismo. Amen? So, basahin po natin sa Psalm 94. Mag-start po tayo doon sa verse 10. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, so Psalm 94 verse 10. Uh, basahin po natin. Psalm, uh, Psalm 94 verse 10. Sabi po niya, He punishes the nations. Won't He also punish you? He knows everything. Doesn't he also know what you are doing? So, sabi niya, it is God that, God is a disciplinarian po ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na disciplinarian ay uh, malupit. Discipline means uh, you are wanting the best for the person, for your children. Di ba? Pagmahal ng magulang ang kanyang anak, dinidisiplinan niya talaga. And that was written in Hebrews that God disciplines His sons because He loves us. Without discipline, we will, we, magiging laki sa layaw tayo. Ako, I am an OFW kid. At buti na lang na, na, na usher ako. I, the Lord is so merciful and loving really dahil alam niya na wala masyadong gumagabay sa akin nung bata ako. E malayo ang nanay ko. My father is busy working also for the family. And uh, ang mga kapatid ko, they are also studying. So, yan, masyadong maluwag. No one, I'm free, but I was in living in freedom in my uh, young age. But I praise God. But that because of that uh, situation na I'm still young and na, na palayo sa magulang, but I praise God that uh, the Lord was there. I was longing for yung mga saan kay I was there is a loneliness in my heart parang hindi ako kumpleto and one night the Lord uh, led me to a Bible study in our neighborhood sa sa boarding house ni Pastor uh, Delia Gigway siya yung pastor uh, siya ang pastor natin sa Israel ngayon and when she was still working as midwife sa aming barangay Oh, ginamit siya ng Panginoon. I was led to that Bible study in her boarding house. And so, nakadyan naka, ako, nag-start na makinig ng salita ng Panginoon. And tuloy-tuloy uh, na po yan. Uh, 
after the Bible study, we continue to join every prayer meetings, every Friday until na uh, nung anti ko naman ang patuloy na follow up sa akin until na, na I was able to join the uh, uh, Sunday service. At napakaganda po kasi, ito, sabi niya dito, it is God that is in control siya, ang may control ng lahat. He knows everything. He knows what you feel. He knows what you are. He knows our past. He knows our situation right now. And he is here, sabi niya, he punishes the nations. Won't he also punish you? Oh, God is a, God is a disciplinary, he is a dis disciplinarian God. He disciplines his people. And so, sa akin, Ayaw niya na lumaki ako na maging rebellious sa kanya. Ayaw niya na lumaki ako na kumukontra sa kanya. So, I think that, that at my young age, God uh, already uh, gripped me para at least habang bata pa, ay natututo na. Kasi mahirap turo ang pagmatanda na. O, diba? Kaya nga, the Bible says, train a child in the way they should go so that they will grow up to be a God-fearing people. And I am, I am thankful, you know, if we really have the heart to seek God, God is just a prayer away. He, if we are in seek, we are we, we are seeking uh, for God, marami kang nasabi, gusto kong mahanap ang Panginoon, gusto kong hanapin ang Panginoon, pero nung nangusap ang Panginoon sa kanila, oh, they hardened their hearts. So, sa akin, I thank God for that, uh, parang there is a longing in my heart, there is a vacuum in my heart, na yan ang instrument ng Panginoon para maghanap ako. At nung nalaman ko na mag-abustari sa kapitbahay namin, pumunta ako doon. And there is something na naramdaman ko, I felt the joy na masaya naman kami sa bahay, but parang may kulang pa. But when I started attending the Bible study, I feel the real joy inside me. Para, uh, I, parang hindi ko yung naranasan sa ibang. I did never felt that before. It's only when I when I joined the Bible study that I felt and I know very well that that is the presence of God. And sabi niya don, He knows everything, doesn't He? Also knows what you are doing. When I sat down on that Bible study and I heard the message, nalaman ko na God is there. Isang, when I started, I continued to grow at my auntie na nag high school ako, pero nung pag high school life, medyo wild kasi din age, di ba? So, when I was high school, nagpapatuloy naman ako nakikinig sa salita ng Panginoon, pero because of also na you are at your young age, medyo wild ka. Parang sometimes you, yes, you you value you're going to church pero minsan nandyan pa rin yung playing no we start we continue to be playful but i praise god when i entered my college life i studied in bontok and uh, one time they joined me into a jail ministry when i uh nung naubo ako doon na makinig doon sa bilibid ay sinamahan ko yung isang uh, leader natin na magturo sa mga jail doon sa sa bontok and when I was sitting down, ito ulit, na i, na i, napakinggan ko ulit ang same verse na, there is a God. May dalawang mata doon sa langit na nakatingin sa atin. Araw at gabi, lahat ng sekreto alam niya. Lahat ng ating pinagdadaanan, alam niya. Pwede tayong magtago. We can run away from people but we cannot run away from the eyes of God. Nung napakinggan ko yun, talagang I started to uh, change, I started to reconsider my ways. Sabi ko, bakit kaya tutuo nga po? Sinasabi kong ako ay nagsisimba. Sinasabi kong ako ay isang uh, nananapanatay sa Diyos, pero bakit ganito ang nangyari sa aking buhay? So when I, I habang nung tumatanda ako at na napapakinggan ko patuloy kong inaaral at pinapakinggan ang salita ng Panginoon, lalo pong lumalalim at lumiliwanag ang ibig niyang sabihin. Ang tunay nga po, that without learning God's ways, our life will end up to nothing. Walang mangyayari sa ating buhay. We will remain to be a victim of the enemy. We will remain 
to be uh, bihag ng demonyo. We cannot experience that salvation and deliverance and the blessing that God has planned for each one of us, that God has purposed for each one of us. Kaya po ito ang ating pag-aaralan na the blessing of choosing God's way. That time na naupo ako doon sa jail, nag-isip-isip na ako. Sabi ko, if I do not change my ways, kay ang Panginoon pala ang nagbibigay ng blessing. He is the one that can bless me. He is the one that can bless my family. He is the one that can bless my life, that can bless my plans. If I will not choose His way, if I will not turn my ways and go back to the Lord and seriously follow Him, then I will miss the blessing. The very good life that God has purposed to me and to my family. And it can also, the life that God has purposed to all of us. Amen? So, ituloy natin. Sabi na sa uh, verse 11, The Lord knows uh, people's thoughts that they are worthless. No? Alam ng Panginoon, between the mind of God and the mind of man, it's totally different. The mind of God is so rich. It's full of wisdom. But the thoughts of man, oh, pag hindi nakakilala sa Panginoon ang daming mga uh, thoughts natin na hindi kalubot-lubot sa Panginoon. At ituloy natin basahin sa verse 11, sabi niya, the Lord, uh, verse, uh, yeah, the Lord knows people's thoughts that they are worthless. Now, unang pagpag-aralan natin, bago tayo magpatuloy, the first thing that we need to learn, if we go to uh, read in, in verse 12, can we basahin natin doon sa verse 12? Praise the Lord. Sabi niya, ha, ito, verse 12, ito ang number 1. Happy are those whom you discipline, Lord, and those whom you teach your law. So, isang blessing pala, one of the blessings of if we choose God's way, sabi na dito sa verse 12, happy are those whom you discipline. So, sabi niya, the joy, nandyan yung kagalakan. Nandyan yung joy na mararanasan natin if we are being disciplined by the Lord, there is the joy. Why? Sabi niya, ituloy natin, and those whom you teach, you're not. So, very clear po dito na, sabi niya dito, that kahit pala anong gawin ng isang tao, pag hindi niya kilala ang Diyos, nandyan pa rin yung sorrow. Nandyan pa rin yung loneliness. Hindi buo yung pwedeng tumatawa ang isang tao. Pero dahil alam niya na wala rin siya koneksyon sa Panginoon o kaya lumalabag siya sa batas ng Panginoon, nandyan pa rin yung emptiness. Pwedeng tumatawa ang isang tao. Pero at the end of the day, hindi siya masaya kasi alam niya kung mamamatay ako kung ano mangyari ngayon. I have no relationship with God. I am not really happy. So what really makes us happy is God. The joy that even in times of turmoil, in times of problem, nandyan pa rin yung pwede ka pa rin panate, pwede ka pa rin makatawa. Kasi nga ngayon, Pilipino, parang ang Pilipino na kahit na bagyo. Nandyan pa rin yung kudakan, nandyan pa rin yung tawanan. Nakaganda, if we know the Lord, Happy are those whom God disciplines. Uh, talagang uh, masaya silang nagliligod sa Panginoon. Marami kayang mga Kristiyano ang nagliligod sila pero hindi sila masaya. Dahil they are living in rebellious, they are living in disobedience. If we, kahit naman sa atin eh, pag nakita natin kung talagang kahit na sinasabi mong, oo, oh, oo, oh, uh, nananampalatay tayo pero wala yung totoong pagsunod, wala yung discipline, wala yung uh, totoong we behave in our Christian walk with God, in our day-to-day -day life. Marating natin, hindi tayo masaya. Eh. Diba? But if we are really behaving in our day-to-day -day walk with God, nakita na, nandyan yung kagalakan. Uh, nandyan yung kagalakan, umaapaw ang kagalakan. So, Yan, sabi niya, joy. You will have that joy. Praise God. You can still encourage others. You can still
then be happy. If others are happy, then you, you can be happy. Hindi yung tumatawa ang iba, masaya sila, iba naman. Hmm? Oh, di ba? Pero kung ang isang anak ng Diyos ay, ang isang nagsasabi na anak ng Diyos ay pinipili niya na lumakad sa salita ng Panginoon, nandiyan yung kagalakan. Then we go to number two. So number two doon sa verse 13. Number two is relief from days of trouble. One of the blessings, ang isang blessing na pagpipili sa pamamaraan ng Diyos or choosing God's way, one of its blessing is relief from days of trouble. Sabi po niya sa Bible na every day has its trouble of its own. Every day has its trouble of its own. Walang araw na walang problema. Pero ang kagandaan ng Panginoon, God is God of all seasons and nights. In bad times or in good times, He is still God. He is still God. Whatever is happening here, God is still on His throne. And is ready to come and bring relief to each one of his people who are in trouble. To anyone who come to him, to anyone who, who trust in him, God is ready, ever ready to bring relief from days of trouble. Basahin natin sa verse 13, sabi, di ba? You give them relief from trouble times until a pit is dug for the wicked. So sa mga Mamimil, to those who will choose God's way, they will experience relief, uh, rescue, help. Kung baga, uh, halinga, pag dumara, dumarating ang problema, hindi tayo nag-iisa. God is there to rescue us. And sabi na, hang, habang naman itong mga the wicked, those who will continue to be matigas ang ulo, those who will continue to be self-willed, those who continue to be rebellious, those who will continue to go against the will of God, those who will continue to na selfish, those who will continue to do their own way, sabi niya, a pit is prepared for them. Hell is not created for us, but if, actually, hell is created for the devil and his, the evil spirit, Satan and his, uh, the demons, no? But sabi niya, if we do not also choose God's way, if we do not come and surrender and turn our ways so that we follow God's way, so that we will obey, so that we will walk in righteousness, so that we will walk in the fear of God. And sabi niya, makakasama tayo, even if God is merciful, if we remain to be wicked, we will be thrown into the into the lake of fire. Pit is dug for the wicked. Kaya mga kapatid, nasa atin ang pagpipili. Either we want the blessing or we want to be uh, thrown in the pit. So, I'm sure that lahat tayo gusto natin ang blessing. So, wala pong ibang way for us to be blessed for us so that God will favor us, so that God will be there to bring relief, to help us in times of need or in day-to-day -day life, to sustain us. Sabi niya, we have to be willing to be disciplined. We have to be willing to accord our life, iakma, makipag-ugnayan sa Panginoon, at iakma ang ating bu ang ating uh, buhay at ang, ang ating ugali sa salita ng Panginoon. I'm sure that if we have the true faith in God and we stand on His word, His Spirit will come to us and if we are filled with the Holy Spirit, the effect that is nandyan yung joy na gawin ang kalooban ng Panginoon. Hindi tayo napipilitan but it becomes, it becomes our joy to obey, to follow the word of God, the discipline of God. No. Relief. Lahat tayo, 
Merong problema. Hanggat nandito tayo sa mundo, we will always face trouble. Sabi nga niya sa Bible in 1 Peter chapter 5, diba? Sabi niya, there will, consider, there will be trials and persecutions that we will be facing as Christians, as people of God. But the good thing is, if we are submitted to the Lord, God is able to uphold us. God is able to bring us relief in the days of trouble. Hallelujah. He is a way maker, a solution maker, provider, solution provider. So that is number two. Bless when we choose uh, God's way. Number three is, let us read in verse 14. Sabi niya sa verse 14, The Lord will not reject His people. He will not abandon His special possession. Okay, I want to clear this. Lahat tayo ay linikha ng Panginoon, pero hindi lahat ay matatawag na anak ng Panginoon. Only those who have believed the Lord Jesus Christ, only those who accepted Him as their Lord and Savior, only those who really surrendered their life to God, and they have relationship with God, they are called the people of God. They are called the chosen. They are called the children of God. We can be His creation, but we are not yet His children. Because we are, do not have yet relationship with Him. We do not yet submitted our life to Him. But God is ready. He is open to anyone who wants to come to Him. Uh, God wants. He will be your father. He will be a father to anyone who comes to him. No. So sabi niya, the Lord will not reject his people. So number three, blessing when we choose God's way. Sabi niya, he will not forsake you. Hindi kanya ipagtatabuyan. Kagaya ng announcement ang consulate kanina. Nakinig tayo, I encourage each one of us na let us be vigilant to the news today dito sa Hong Kong, para maging uh, upgraded tayo sa mga news. Sabi po ng consulate natin dito sa Hong Kong, Philippine Consulate, na sabi niya, ang consulate po ay handa. Sabi niya, we are here to help you. Uh, handa kami tumulong sa inyo. You just come. We are open you and we are here to serve you. So, ganyan din. Kung pa, ganyan din ang uh, Panginoon sa mga anak. Sabi niya, hindi na tayo ipagtatabo yan. Kahit nandyan ang konsulit, kung hindi tayo lalapit sa kanila, walang magagawa ang Philippine government sa atin. But I'm sure that as we go to the, just like in the election, it is our right to go and ask help to our government. So if we come to them, hindi ka nila ipagkatabuyan kasi it is your right because you're a citizen of uh, the Philippines. So ibig sabihin sa atin din, if we belong to the kingdom of God and we are citizens, of heaven. We are children of God. We have the right to come to Him and say, Lord, I'm here. I need you. So, if we are His children, if we come to Him, He will not abandon us. He will not forsake us. He will not reject us. Because we are His special possession. We are His people. Katulad ng isang magulang, kahit na galit na galit sa isang suwail na anak niya, pero kung nalapit pa rin yung anak niya, dahil anak niya yun, kadugo na yun, wala siyang magawa. O, di ba? Ganyan din. But sa atin, important po, God is always there if we do not humble ourselves and change from our wicked ways and seek His face. Mangimiss natin ang promise ng Panginoon ng blessing niya. Imagine in this situation na sa atin, in every day of our life, wala akong makakagawa sa mga gagawa ng Panginoon sa atin. Oh. People can reject you. People can abandon you. People can get tired of you. But God will always be there. He will not forsake. He will not abandon His special possession. So manatili po tayong piliin ang God's way. Nananawagan ang Panginoon. Every day sabi niya, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. 
I will hear their cry and heal their land. So, ganyan po ang Panginoon. Let us, yung salita ng Panginoon ng ating panghawakan. His word of God will make you right, will make you upright. Napakaganda po. If you are longing na talaga, sasabihin natin, paano, ano ang way ng Panginoon? His word. Go to His word. Read His word. Kaya nga inaaral-aral natin everyday ang salita ng Panginoon para patuloy natin maintindihan at ma-remind. Kasi kung hindi na natin binabasa, pwede natin makalimutan. At habang binabasa natin, yan ang magiging action natin everyday. Yan ang magdidirik sa ating buhay. Yan ang mag-flow sa ating uh, parang dugo na nananalite sa ating buhay. And as we continue to wear and apply the word of God, nadidisiplinahan, naaayos, nababago ang ating ugali, na itutuwid ang mga mali natin pag-iisip, na itutuwid ang ating pananalita, na itutuwid ang ating action, ang ating pag-uugali. I'm sure nakaka-relate kayo dito na kahit, mataga, kahit na tinanggap natin ang Panginoon, if everyday we do not read His word, we do not connect to Him through prayer and worship, you will come to uh, observe that bumabalik ka sa dati mong pagkatao. ba? But if we continually we teach, we discipline ourselves to eat the proper food, the word of God, to hear and hear the message at to read and meditate His word. Hindi lang makinig but magbasa, magpray, magworship para yan ang ating gagawin every day and as we choose to do yung binabasa natin in times of need nagtatawag tayo sa Panginoon he will not forsake you he will not reject you ipa priority kanya ipa priority kanya kaya mahirap yung paminsan-minsan ka lang tumatawag kasi minsan uh, malabo yun eh pero pag palagi ka nakakulit sa Panginoon ay Palagi kang number one sa listahan ng Panginoon. Ay, di ba, para sa page, habang nagpukumil ka, ayan, oh, nagiging ano yun, may tawag doon sa page eh. Uh, yung, pag na, yung, yung, mas, yung palagi nagpukumil, may tawag doon sa Facebook na uh, avid listener sana, avid viewer, kumbaga, sa radio. Huh? So, ganun sa atin. And not only you, even your family, will continue to experience the blessing. Ang sarap. That in times that when we call upon the Lord, He is there to listen to us. Kaya, consistent po tayo sa ating pag-obey sa salita ng Panginoon. Consistent po tayong uh, patuloy na hanapin uh, ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. Every day we have to seek God. We have to seek His guidance. We have to every day surrender our life to God. Every day we have to let His Holy Spirit, ask His Holy Spirit to guide us. So that anything, ano man ang ating harapin every day, hindi tayo nag-iisa. Nandyan ang Panginoon na kasama natin. Amen? Di ba? Ang tao pwedeng... Uh, sabi niya, oh, tumawag ka lang sa akin. Pero yung time na tumawag ka, hindi na makontak ang number niya. Baka nawala ng signal. Baka busy. But for God, He is always there. He will not forsake you. Meron din yung tinatawag ko, pero bigla, ay, sandali, sandali. May ano na ako, oh, puputuli na niya. But God, He will give. He will always be there for each one of us. So, patuloy po tayo. Manahan tayo na tumayo isa katuparan, we, we choose to obey the word of God. His ways are His words that we are uh, reading and hearing every day. Now, in verse 15, ituloy natin, judgment will come again for the righteous. Oh, judgment means God is disciplining us. Every word na, uh, di ba, napapansin natin, every day na nakikinig tayo sa salita ng Panginoon, every day na nagbabasa tayo sa salita ng Panginoon. Talagang meron at meron pa rin. Kinukurin ang Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. Amen. Kahit pa matagal na tayong believer, meron at meron pa rin yung kinukurin ng Panginoon sa atin. Kaya nga sabi niya, we are work in progress. We are still disciples 
until the day that the Lord will come. Every day there are still a lot of things to learn. Eh kung every day, kung, kung gusto lang natin sa kanalang lang tayo magkaaral, sa kanalang lang tayo makikinig, sa kanalang lang tayo mag what will happen to us? We will be behind po tayo. Ang problema pag nabahin na tayo, wala na tayong oras. The Bible says, we have short time. Kunti na po ang oras na natitira. So mga kapatid, sabi niya, God is disciplining the righteous one. He is judging us every day. Mas maganda na magpa, uh, let, magpa-disciplina tayo sa Panginoon. Kaysa naman tayo ay tuloy ang mapunta sa impyerno. And if we are willing to be judged by the Lord, we are willing to be searched by the Lord, we are willing to be disciplined. Sabi na doon, and those who are upright will have a reward. See? Kung tayo ay nagpa-disiplina at tayo ay naging matuwid, sabi niya, my reward. So, number four na, uh, sige, ito rin natin basahin sa verse 16. Sabi niya, the reward, sabi niya, who will protect me from the wicked? Who will stand up for me against Evil doers, di ba? So, sabi nga doon na number four is the Lord will help you. The Lord will help you. Nandyan ang uh, pupotektahan tayo. Help means not only uh, in times that you are or you are tired that God will help you, but even in times of danger, He will be there to protect you. Thank you, Lord. Sa NIV, basahin natin sa NIV, Psalm 94. Uh, verse 16 I was reading in the New Living Translation kasi yung uh, I chose the New Living Translation in, in LT because of the words na nakasulat doon but it's the same also sa NIV sabi nga sa verse 16 who will rise up for me against the wicked who will take a stand for me against evil doers sa NLT, sabi niya, who will protect me from the wicked? Who will stand up for me against evil doers? It is only God that can protect us from evil. Because God is the one who is almighty. The devil is mighty, but God is almighty. And if we are under the protection of God, we are in the shelter of the Most High. Our life is surrendered to the Lord we are submitted to the Lord, then the hedge of protection will be upon us. Will be upon our relationship. Will be upon our family. The things that we did not submit to the Lord, ay walang, hindi kasama sa protection ng Panginoon yan. Even if God promised that He will protect us, but may mga salita niya na ayaw nating tanggapin, karamihan, na struggle ng lahat, tights. Tayo's manan, kung nalang, wala tayo isuti ka na yun, wala'y damagan nyo. Anya tayo isuti ka, anuan nga na mati. Ay, wala, ang tayo, baptism ti may sa water baptism ang isa. You, you want to go to heaven, but you do not want to uh, follow the instruction. The first step, how can you enter? How can you enter? How can you enter the house if you do not, hindi ka, uh, hindi ka lalakad sa hagdan? Steps. These are the basic steps, no? Obedience, sabi na doon, baptism, isa doon is tithes. Gusto mong, Lord, I want to be blessed financially, but you do not obey His word, you do not obey His laws, hindi ka naniniwala sa batas niya. Tungkol sa finances, how can God protect your finances? Hindi ka naniniwala sa baptism, how can God protect your life? You want to be blessed, but you do not, you do not accept water baptism? One of the blessings of water baptism is curse will be broken. So if you want to be blessed, then fully submit our life to the Lord. Well, hindi po tayo pwedeng mamimili kung ano ang susundin natin. All the word of God, the entire Bible is the law of God for us to be blessed. It's all His ways. Kaya if iiwasan yung isang, isang verse or isang chapter or isang book, sabi mo sa New Testament lang ako, ay ako sa Old Testament. Oh, hindi kompleto. So, that is not choosing God's way. The way of God is both the Old Testament and the New Testament. They are interconnected. And we do not choose. If we want really to God to bless us, there's no option. 
The only solution is to believe entirely His word. And if we believe His word, we act on it. And as we act on it, we will be benefited with this word of God. The benefit is, ayan, He will not forsake you. Uh, una yung nabagin ko kanina is, number one is, uh, he will, he will give you his joy. He will teach you. Magiging, uh, he will teach you para ikaw ay maging uh, wise in your day-to-day -day life. And number two is, he will give you relief from days of trouble. And number three is, he will never forsake you. He will never forsake you. Never is forever. So, we need also to be forever Continuous sana ang ating pagsunod at pag-work out sa ating salvation. Now, in number 4, sabi niya, the Lord will help you. Ito rin natin basahin sa verse 17. The Lord will help you. The Lord will protect you. Verse 17, unless the Lord had helped me, I would soon have died. Oh. Maraming namatay dahil walang tumulong. You are in need of help. But nobody wants to help. Dahil takot sila. Baka sila ang baka sila ang maparatangan na uh, na, na dito sa abroad may doon na ganun eh. Kung hindi mo alam ang batas pwede kang tutulong pero mamay ikaw pala ang ano, ikaw ang dehado. Pero sa Panginoon hindi eh. If we come to Him and we submit our life to Him. We obey. We become a law-abiding citizen of heaven. So, diba sabi niya, God will help you so that you will not die. So that you will, you, the, the devil is there killing and destroying, is stealing everything, every areas of our life, our joy, our peace. Lahat, our work. Lahat gustong sirain at patayin ng demonyo. But if you are under the protection of God, you are walking in God's way. You are walking with this word of God. Na? If we are informed, well informed with the word of God, and we walk in His ways, we are no abiding citizens of heaven. Sabi na doon, Oh, God is there to help you. Propotectan ka para kahit ano pa man ang plan ng demonyo, it will not happen. Even if he has the death threats, God is able to spare and help us so that we will not, it will not happen to us. Hallelujah. So sabi, very clear po ang salita ng Panginoon. And death is a process. Hindi yan uh, bigla ni, eh. May process. Kahit na sabi nilang, uh, na-reject, uh, what is that word, na nabangungot, nagurok pa iso na. Ay, tatlo talagang awanti kung walang tutulong at talagang walang intervention ang Panginoon, natutuluyan yun. Huh? So, sa atin mga kapatid, it's very important. Mas maganda na piliin natin ang way of God. Mas maganda na piliin natin na na manindigan sa salita ng Panginoon. Because in times, we cannot control things. May mga ere sa ating buwan na wala tayong magawa. But God is able to make ways. When God intervenes, it's solve immediately. So, let's go to number 5. Sabi niya sa number 5, doon sa verse 18, basahin natin sa verse 18. Hallelujah. Sa verse 18, I cried out, I am sleeping and your unfailing love, O Lord, supported me. Itong nagsulat dito sa Psalm 94, sabi niya, umiyak ka. O, sabi niya dito, so verse 18, when I said, my foot is sleeping, Lord, ako rin nahuhulog. At ang kikikanta ni Bishop nga, Lord, help me from falling away from you. In our 
our day-to-day -day life dahil sa mga nangyari sa ating sa ating everyday life. May time na we are also going down. In terms of problems, in terms of testing, or kaya uh, may time talaga na you are being pressured. Sunod-sunod ang problema, sunod-sunod ang testing, at minsan napanghihinaan tayo. Para bang feeling mo, Lord, parang hindi ko na kaya. But, sabi niya, if we come to Him and cry before the Lord, Lord, I'm falling. And then, when we come to Him, and instead na mag instead na lumayo, but we choose to call on to the Lord God and we claim, Lord, you've said that when you set us free, I am free indeed. I am your child. We claim His word. And you said that you, you made us victors when you died on the cross. We declare His words in our life. And sabi na doon, Oh, His unfailing love will come and support us. Oh, ang sarap. So, mga kapatid, when we uh, choose to cling on to the Lord, His unfailing love, His unfailing love, His love never fails. Things here on earth will fail. Love of men will fade. Will fail. But the love of God will always... Uh, he never fails. He will always... His love will continue to support us. Amen? So, ito po. Piliin natin. Manindigan. Pag nandyan ang demonyo na... Sabi, ganito ang gawin mo. Uh, choose to stand on the word of God and you will be protected. You will be protected. Namisan kinakalaban natin every day is fear. The, the moment that we we welcome fear, the moment that magpa uh, dala tayo sa fear, it, we are opening, that is the door. We are opening the door for the devil. To come and destroy our lives. So let us overcome fear by continually reading, worshiping, connecting to the Lord every day. Obeying the word of God. And makita mo, God will sustain you. God will sustain you. Sabi na dito sa number verse 18, sabi na, His love will support you. If, love, if God loves you, He will do everything for you. As He had done on the cross, He will continually do to us every day. At alam ko na naprogramman natin yan eh. Though God is, though we fail, but nakita natin God continually loves. Sino sustain niya ang lahat eh? There is a word in Proverbs na sabi niya, even the wicked, wicked and righteous, God loves them. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na pag God loves us, ay i-overlong niya ang kasalanan natin. God is a loving God. That's why He gave us chances. He speaks to us in the level and He is so patient. Waiting for each one of us. But if we continue to be uh, rebellious, pipilitin pa rin natin ng nagmamatigas tayo, ay wala nang magawa po ang Panginoon sa atin. He chose, we chose our way, then wala nang magawa ang Panginoon. But, to those who will continue na kahit may mga challenges but they choose na tumayo sa salita ng Panginoon. Although there is persecution, there is price to pay, there is risk that we have to face. But we choose na, Lord, alam ko, ito ang tama. And I know, and I know that your word is true. Though I cannot understand, I cannot see it right now. But as I stand on your word, miracle happens. Miracle happens. Wala ka mang malaking pera, but you choose to obey, you choose to give your tithes, you choose to set aside the, the holy things of God. Para may maibigay ka, para may maialay ka sa Panginoon, para may ma, ma, maipakita mo na uh, pagmamahal, pagsuporta sa uh, trabaho ng Panginoon because of souls. You, you are willing to give up 
what is for you just for the sake of that soul who is in need of salvation, the Lord will sustain you. Propotekta ng Panginoon ang pamilya mo. God will continue to love your family. God will support your family. Kaya, huwag natin inispoil ang ating pamilya kasi pag inispoil mo, ikaw na ang provider na nila, they will trust on you. Kapag nag-fail ka, aawayan ka na nila. But let's also choose, let's also teach our family to trust the Lord. Unahin natin, ang, ang para sa Panginoon, unahin natin na sumunod, gawin ang, sa, ang, ang sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon at makita natin mag-flow yan. Mag-flow yan sa pamilya natin. Hindi niya pababayaan. God is our, our ultimate support. At kung ang Panginoon sumuporta sa atin, ah, sigurado na yan, kapatid. Sigurado na yan. Siya ang backer na nasa kanya ang lahat. You want backups? Piliin natin ang Panginoon. Choose God's way. And he will, you will have His support. Hallelujah. Now, Let's continue to read in uh, verse, uh, the number six, the last. Number six is, He will spare you from depression. Oh, he will spare you from depression. Let us read in verse 19. Psalm 94 verse 19, sabi niya, When anxiety was great, depression is anxiety. No? When anxiety was great within me, Nung yung nararanasan ko yung, yung nakakaroon ako ng matinding kalungkutan. Your consolation brought me joy. Sabi na verse 19 in the NLT, When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Ang ganda sa NIV at sa New Living Translation. Sabi niya sa NIV, when anxiety was great within me. Ang isang ninalabanan ng tao dito sa lahat ng mga tao, young and old, is anxiety. Loneliness problem. Nandyan yung trouble. Dahil sa trouble, nakakaroon tayo ng anxiety. Nakakaroon ng depression. Ang depression is yung uh, nanggaling yan sa, nag-start sa fear. And then hindi mo makontrol. Sobrang mag-iisip because of that and because of maraming iniisip na eh, naka, ano yun, marami kang iniisip. Marami kang mm, uh, problema at hindi na nabuguluan ka na. Hindi ka na makakain. Iba't ibang level ang depression eh. May depression na hindi ka makakain, wala kang ganang kumain. Meron ding depression na uh, yung skin mo naman ang nagbabala, yung nag, uh, nagkakaroon ng skills. Meron din yung, uh, hindi ka natutulog. Meron yung isa na tawa na tawa. Meron isa naman na uh, part na uh, way ng uh, other uh, diversion at ibang, ano yun, uh, makita mo na uh, result ng depression or what, not result but yung effect ng depression sa kanya ay hindi na siya na nakukulong na lang siya. Nakukulong na lang siya. At yan ang nakakatakot kasi pag hindi mo mo overcome ang depression, if you cannot overcome anxiety, you cannot handle that anxiety and depression, it will lead to suicide or, or death. Ganyan ang nangyari yan, ang isang ginagamit ng demonyo to steal and to kill people. At ang daming itong mga dulot ng pandemic na ito, sinasakyan ng demonyo ang sitwasyon. Maraming news, iba't iba, sa iba't ibang, kahit sa Pilipinas, marami ang na-depress na yung people. Dahil lang sa love life, na-depress na sila. Mahirap. And the Lord is here. Sinasabi niya, if you choose my way, if you just, if you just Obey my word if you just come to me and let me drive your life. If you just submit your life to me and you just obey your, my word, hindi ka mag -iisa. In terms of problem, hindi na ikaw. I will fight the battle for you. I will be the one to provide you solutions. I will give you wisdom so that you will know how to solve your problem. I will give you strength, my grace to enable you. 
to stand. It is God that is holding us para hindi tayo mag-break. Ayan ang sabi niya eh. He will spare us from depression. Doon din sa Matthew 11.28, anong sabi ng salita ng Panginoon? Sabi niya, Come unto me, you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. God is inviting everyone, every day. He is using circumstances, He is talking to us through dreams, through other person, through our circumstances, through yung mga nakita natin sa paligid natin. Ah, God is calling our attention. Come unto me and I will give you rest. Only those who will come to Him, only those who will believe in Him, only those who will submit their life, who will surrender, who will accept Him, who will accept His word in their life. If we accept it, the sooner we accept His word, the sooner we obey His word, we will be spared from depression. That is a blessing. Blessing yun. Hindi lang material ang blessing. Even protection from depression. Being spared from anxiety. Comfort comes from the Lord. Kahit tingnan mo pag umaalis ang isang tao, kahit believer yan dati, pero pag nagbabakis line na yan, makita mo, na-experience niya pa rin ang discomfort. Why? The Spirit of God is not with him anymore. So he is still, uh, nandyan pa rin yung nadidepressed na kristyano. Why? Because the moment that we are not already connected fully, we are not, we, the truth is not in us anymore. No? We are not living in our, in the Word of God. Wanaan na yung, uh, hindi lang pag-memorize, but yung nandyan yung full obedience natin and depending on the power of God. Living out the truth will bring comfort to all of us. Sabi niya, no? Because, uh, how God will spare us from depression? Paano niya i-spare tayo sa depression? Sabi niya, although there is anxiety, there are worries that we face every day. Pero para hindi tuluyan na ma mag-fall sa depression, sabi niya, because of the word of God that is upon us, because of it, because we continually talk to Him every day and we worship Him and we we are filled with His Holy Spirit every day, nandyan yung comfort and that because of His Word that brings comfort to us, sabi niya, naririnyo ang hope natin, kaya we are cheerful every day. Nandyan pa rin yung saya. Hallelujah! So, ilas verse natin. Uh, pero bago natin bangay ng last uh, two verses natin na pinaka-conclusion pinaka natin, I just want to, to review the blessing of choosing God's way. Sa so, Psalm 94 verse 10 to 19, Number one na blessing is, sabi niya, you will have his joy and his wisdom. You will be taught. Matuturuan ka. You will be taught. You will become learned. You will be educated. You will become wise. Okay? And number two is, you will be relieved from days of trouble. Relieved from days of trouble. Number three, he will never forsake you. Oh, hallelujah. Number four, the Lord will protect and help you. We need protection every day. We need the help of God every day in every areas of our lives. Number five, blessing is His love will support you. Oh, hallelujah. We need love every day and we need support every day. Diba? Kahit ano ang... Uh, Hinaha, ano, ano man ang pagsubok mo pag alam mo na, na may nagmamahal sa inyo, you are okay. Hallelujah. And God is there. God is there to continually support us. Not only a moral, but in every aspect of our life, He is ready to support us. Uh, he will support and supply our needs. The last but not the least is He will spare you from depression, from anxiety, from worries of life. He will help you. How? By giving His comfort. Giving hope. He is renewing our hope. Our hope is being renewed every day. Through His Word and through His Spirit. We are being strengthened. Nalilin nyo. Kaya every day, 
kahit pa pagod na pagod ka physically, when you come to His Word and worship Him and thank Him, mararamdaman mo, hallelujah, you are being renewed. You are being strengthened. You are being refreshed. And last but not the least, verses 22 to 23. Sabi niya sa verses 22 to 23, But the Lord has become my fortress. The Lord has become my fortress. Fortress means, ano kung ma-ilokan mo, paksol. Na? Fortress armory. Kung nandyan ka sa fort, or sa, sa fortress ng mga sundalo, kahit bubong armored, uh, bulletproof yun eh. Kaya kahit bubong bay nila, hindi mawawasak ang nasa loob. So sabi niya, the Lord is our fortress. He is our protector. He is our iron doom. Hallelujah. That intercepts the rockets and flaming arrows of the evil one. So put our faith. Kaya nga, one of the armor is shield of faith that shields us from all the fiery arrows of the evil one. So faith is very, very important so that our salvation is assured. Isang factor is faith. We cannot be obedient without faith. We cannot also say that we have faith but there is no action. No? So, yan. Another sabi niya, my God is mighty rock. Hallelujah, rock. Uh, ano ang rock? Uh, if you are founded on the rock, you will not be shaken. You will not be shaken. Uh, and truly, really, if our life, kinakanta, na, kinakanta natin, my life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, in you. If our life and strength is the Lord, then we can stand. We can stand. Yan yung sabi na taas noo tayo. Why? Because it, we are there. God is our foundation. And hindi tayo mabibreak, hindi tayo masyashe. Uh, sigurado tayo when we found our life and we uh, get strength. Humuhugot tayo ng strength. Lakas ng Panginoon every day. And the last sabi niya, I like this sabi niya, My God is a mighty rock where I can hide. Hallelujah. He is our hiding place. He is our hiding place. When, the, when during night time, in our darkest moments, he hides us from evil. He hides us from uh, in times of trouble. Kailangan natin ng rest nandyan siya. He is our shelter. So mga kapatid, patuloy po tayo. We choose to obey God's way, not our way. The word of God itong mga napapakinggan natin na batas ng Panginoon. Last but not the least, verse 23, sabi niya dito, He will repay them for their sins and destroy them for their wickedness. The Lord our God will destroy them. So sabi niya, tingnan natin, ano ang mangyari sa those who remain to be evil? Sa mga those who will not uh, choose God's way, what will happen to them? God will make their sins of evil, uh, God will uh, God will repay them from their sins dito sa NLT God will make the sins of evil people fall back upon them uh, hindi ka man asisirain ka agad ng Panginoon because God is patient, God is giving you a chance pero pag talagang we do not choose God's way darating yung time that God will really deal with us sabi niya and when God will deal with us sabi niya he will destroy them from their sins. Oh, if people remain to be wicked, their end will be destruction. Kaya mahirap po wag nating laruin ang ating paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Kasi ang promise ng Panginoon dito is, if we choose God's way, He will be our refuge and uh, our support every day of our life. So we better found we wag tayong umalis. Wag tayo let us continue to be founded, found our life on the word of God and God will take charge of the rest. Sabi niya, God will take charge of the rest. Like 
God will protect us also from any words of the enemy. He will protect us from being destroyed by our enemy. So, sa mga sumasalungat sa Panginoon, destruction is waiting for them. But for those who will choose to submit and accept the truth from God's word, sabi niya doon, wow, God will bless them. God will bless them. May God be praised. May God continue to uh, minister to each one of us. Ano man ang sitwasyon niyo, may God continue to minister to each one of us. Even sa ating kalagayan ngayon, uh, wag tayong, wag, kung if we have been obeying God in the past, we continue to obey, especially in these critical times. Especially in these critical times. Let us continue to uh, obey, to choose God's way. And we, God assured us that He will be there to rescue us, to give us joy. To bless us in every aspect. May God bless each one. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, lubos po kaming nagpapasalamat, Panginoon, sa inyong salita. Nung nagbigay ulit sa amin ng kalakasan, it comforted us and renewed our hope, Lord. Give us joy to continue to go on knowing that you are there. To teach us. You are there to relieve us from our troubles. You are there to protect us from, spare us from depression. You are there to, to support us. You are there to continue to save us. Lord, I pray that lahat ng nakinig, patuloy mo, Panginoon. I-bless at patuloy mo. Grip each one of us in the hand of your hands. That Lord, every day, we continue to hold on to the truth. And continue to move anuman ang kanilang situation. We are so God. For your mercy and your grace to be upon each one of us, Lord. And reclaim you your words, O God, that we have heard this afternoon to uh, na ma-experience ng bawat isa sa amin as we apply it in our day-to-day -day walk. We give you praise, Lord. Patuloy mo, Panginoon, ay kumpleto ang mensahe sa mga lahat ng nakinig in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all.